Hello, um, this is Fabian Guerra. Um, for my place of worship, I chose, well, this, this, I went to this place when I was younger. It's called St. Monica's Catholic Church. And the address is 501 North Street, Converse, Texas. I don't know if you need a zip code, but I've, I've been going there basically my whole life. I live around, around that, it's, it's in San Antonio. Um, that's where I'm from, but this is the place of worship I chose. I went to to church school to get like my confirmation and stuff. But yes, the buildings. Um, I have pictures. Well, on Google, but they have like they have like fourteen windows with the sacraments on them it's really nice like you can see in this picture uh, let me full screen it uh how do i turn my camera I, I don't know how to turn my camera but um sorry i'm trying to get a bigger picture it won't show but like this like right here Right there, there's, there's more of them, but it's a nice church. It's welcoming. They were founded, and I think their first mass was October first, nineteen sixty. And I've been. My family goes here. Uh, my recent little cousin just got baptized here, and they do have a garden um, in the back. It's a 10 acre land that they were given, but in the back is like a garden. Walk through with all these crosses and stuff. It's it's nice. I only been there once though. Or in the back. Mm, what religion or religious tradition does this group consider itself to be part of? Um, they're Catholic. I don't really know how to answer that question. Personal history. They're founded in. They're, they were way then before, but it was a small parish church, and then they grew bigger. Like, the church is, the church, this is the church, and then off to the left, it's a school. So, like, kids are welcome, everything, like, like that. Does the site, does the site seem welcoming? Yes, it is welcoming to visitors when, well... They have lights on like the Christmas, like at night. It looks, this looks welcoming. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. Like during Christmas, it looks very nice. Like, oh, what is that? You know what I mean? <laughs> but prayers. It's a Catholic church. Um, this worship. Let's. Um. I don't know what else to say. It's only three minutes and thirty. Um, I already told you I've been there. Let's see if I can pull something up. I'm on their website, by the way. I was looking at it earlier. I just came back from College Station. So, it's, I was looking it up, but I barely had Wi-Fi. Okay, let's see. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh yeah, look. I'm on the website, like, this is the church. And it's a community church. Anybody's welcome, literally. But Yeah. Well, oh, half acres, not ten acres, so I'm so sorry. On March 6, 1958, Miss Knooper donated four and a half acres of land in Converse, Texas to Archidosis. Yeah, they were, they were granted the land or donated. 
and then they recently did remodeling though in 2020 of April they remodeled and they have so when you walk in and go to the left there's like a little room for the children because the children be crying and stuff like you know what I mean? that makes sense like it's a children room and then it's like a big walk in and you can see the um, the front where the pasture talks the father talks and then there's a lot of seats but yeah and it's it is welcoming because literally there's a school connected to it a school and they have I know they have CYO which is church youth organization for sports my cousins did that too and they didn't go to school they just played sports anybody can play the sports if you just sign up and 3,000 family call St. Monica's home I didn't know that more because it's welcoming I guess that if that answers the question if it's welcoming it's not a big church but it's not a small church it's like the good size current two-story main building was completed in 1988 the decade of the 90s saw the addition of the gymnasium surrounded by classrooms for the child development center the school administration building was also built during this period which is it's the church and then the school so but yeah i already told you the Mass was celebrated for the first time on October 1st, 1960. I said that. St. Monica's was started as a mission church run by Our Lady. Our Lady of Perceptual Help in nearby Selma, which is not a city, like a town. All this is in San Antonio, by the way. It's where I'm from. Converse, Texas is on the outside of it, but... Was there any contact? Yeah, there's contact information. They have a really nice website, actually. I wish my camera could flip. You can see through my glasses. <laughs> but... Mm, that's about it. I know. And, like, the original church. This is, uh, from back then. I wish my phone would flip. Look. We got... I only can't read backwards, but on the top one is the original church. Established in 1960, and the bottom one is the 16. Way back then. I wasn't even born yet. And to build a welcoming community of faith, making God's love visible through service to others. About us, there's a lot of contact information. The bottom of the website has the email, the number, and then the address, of course. But I think that's it. The Catholic Church buildings, they have a really nice, well, the, the college is remodeling. They have a really nice church. But I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Peace.